one of the deadliest pandemics in recorded history. Liberia has been diagnosed with Ebola in the United States. Eventually, it killed over 50 million people worldwide. Although the exact numbers of people who were involved and the numbers of deaths are disputed, some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. In 1980, the Spanish flu pandemic killed an estimated 20 million to 50 million victims. About one-third of the planet's population has been infected. Spanish was hit hard by the disease which became known as Spanish flu. Funeral parlors were overwhelmed and bodies piled up and many people had to dig graves for their own family members. With no cure from the flu, doctors prescribed that they felt would elevate symptoms including aspirin. Medical professionals advised patients to take up 30 grams per day, a dose that's known to be a toxic right now. It is believed that many of the October deaths were actually caused or hastened by aspirin poisoning. By the summer of 1919, the flu pandemic came to an end as those that were infected either died or developed immunity. In 1976, Ebola was named after Ebola River in Zaire, which infected 284 people with a mortality rate of 53%. This virus was emerged and infected people in several African countries. Symptoms appear 8 to 10 days after exposure to the virus, but the incubation period can span 2 to 21 days. The only animals found to harbor the Ebola virus were bats, specifically three species of fruit bat, the hammer-headed bat, Frankitz epilid fruit bat, and the little collared fruit bat. In December 2020, the Aryobu was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. This vaccine helps to defend against Zaire Ebola virus, and a global stockpile became available from January 2021. In the 14th century, this devastating pandemic affected the whole of Europe, killing 60% of Europeans, died 50 million people of a total of 80% inhabitants. The primary means of spreading the plague were the flea bites which were hidden in clothing and textiles. In the 17th to 18th centuries, plague doctors invented masks to protect themselves from bad air and prevent contagion. These masks have lenses on the eyes and a long cavity in the nose, which was filled with drugs and aromatic items. Cavity measures half foot length, had two small vent holes, and its shape was very similar to beaks of birds. The plague doctors had a common accessory, a wooden cane which they used to examine patients without having to touch them. To treat the patient, they did bloodletting, Leeches and toads were used every day but this was not effective. Nostras Damos was a reference to stop Black Death pandemic, who gave advices such as removing infected corpses, get some fresh air, drink clean water, drink a juice made with rose hips, and do not bleed the patient. Keep on moving the bizarre dance epidemic of summer 1518. Dancing plague of Strasbourg began in mid-July 1518 when a woman stepped outside her house a jig for several days on end. The burghers even hired pipers and drummers and paid strong men to keep the afflicted upright by clutching their bodies as they whirled sway. By the August, the dancing epidemic had claimed as many as 400 victims. The dancing went on and on until the horror of the crowds who gathered to watch some of the collapse and perish on the spot. A poem in the city explains what happened next. In their madness, people keep up their dancing until they feel unconscious and many die. Dancers were taken to a shrine dedicated to Saint Vitus, where their blooded feet were placed into red shoes and they were led around a wooden figurine of the saint. The claim that the dancers were religious subservience is improbable. The people of Strasbourg were the victims of mass psychogenic illness, what used to be called mass hysteria. An estimated 32 million have died from HIV since the disease was first recognized in the early 1980s. Powerful antiviral drugs have made it possible for people to live for years with HIV. This disease continues to devastate many low- and middle-income countries, where 95% of new HIV infections occur. 
Nearly one in every 25 adults within the WHO African region is HIV positive, meaning that there are over two-thirds of the people living with HIV worldwide according to WHO. In 2020, there were 680,000 HIV-related deaths worldwide.